I said, I got to <clears throat> make sure that it's refreshed and ready to go on here. So we'll probably look a little goofy for the moment. <laughs> Where is it? You might want to check your phone too. Let me check here. Edit audience. I s public anyone. There we go. There we go. Is already a comment? Oh, it is automatic. Okay. It should be up and running. Okay, when you open here, so I follow for it. When we're doing that, I'm going to share it with you. You drop it at the... And the LXP show or your personal? It's in my own person. Oh, right on. Switch over here real quick. Is it, is it showing for you? Yeah, it's showing here on a... Is it still paused? I don't... Yeah, it's showing. Don't need to be with some because I don't want to hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see if it's actually, like, showing. It shows on the desktop. It shows here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's showing. Okay, cool. It is showing. And it's showing it in real time. For some reason, the desktop is like delayed. Let's go back this way. There we go. Seems to be I want to share it, but it's not letting me do it. Oh, sure. On, on my phone, <laughs> let me do it. Share to page. There we go. Thank you. All right, it's shared there. Let's see where else we go. I'm glad that this meeting thing's working perfectly. Hello? Oh, the, I actually mastered muting it on the phone so you can't hear our voices. <laughs> yeah, I mute my one too because I can hear myself and we echo after echo, which is very weird. All right, so there's that map on there. That should be showing. Should be up and running. I know some people were joining. Oh, it looks like some did. I can't see. Switch over here. <laughs> All right, I was in it, but I was out. Are you? Still in it? I, I still can see. It. Yeah. Okay. Switch this over. That's done. Still in there. Get rid of this because I don't need this now. 
and let's see. Oh, we do have people in here. Okay, so we can go ahead and start it off because I wasn't sure if it was just ours open. As working. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. My name's Lace. Uh, you're here on the LXP show, Drink and Creep, and my guest tonight is Gus. Um, he's in a couple bands, Saved by Ruin and Bury My Demons. So we're going to talk to him tonight and have you guys do a little Q&A with him a little bit later. So Gus, go ahead and give an introduction about yourself and about both bands. Well, I'm Gus, Gustavo Destroyer, however you call me. Um, I play in Saved by Ruin, uh, Bury My Demons. I have my solo stuff too. And I played in a couple other bands before like a spa up on Brazil, the Medina Grooves here in the US, and even I wake for days in Italy. So it's been a couple of years work with a bunch of different bands. But now all my bands are here from Colorado. Little background about each one? Background about each one that I play right now, or the other ones? Yes, the current ones. Uh, Bearman Dumas is a pretty new band. Um, uh, John, I believe he's on a live, is a friend of mine. Um, we have this idea of making this band, this metal band, but he want to find the right people. So we met one day in a concert, and he actually been following me for a couple of years. And he's like, let's make this band. But in that time, I was living in California, by the way. He's like, move back to Colorado, get people here in Colorado and make, make this band. Uh, we the band started be a band in December of 2022, I believe so. Yeah, and since then we we are releasing songs, music videos, playing some concerts, and make the band more solid. So probably go on tour pretty soon and release more stuff. And Saved by Room, there's a older band actually, is a band that probably have a 12 years uh, a friend of mine a well as well uh, was uh, just four girls at the beginning <clears throat> but they have a yado of a couple years I don't remember right now and they got back uh, 2022 I believe so as well and they called me to help them one of the gigs last year uh, to cover the uh, the spot of one of the guitar players of the band and after played that gig they're like hey you know what why you don't stay with us because we are friends for so many years we like you you like us so and since then since last year i think haven't been a year yet uh i enjoy the band and since then we we have a we are working new songs we're probably gonna release soon uh, we are doing some badass gigs and planet should do new music video as well you mentioned about gigs. Um, you were with Saved by Ruin, correct? Saved by Ruin, yes. And that's the one where you guys dressed up recently. Uh, that was, uh, I think it was this Saturday. We yeah, did, uh, you talk a little bit about that one? Yeah, I was, I was dressed like a cat. <laughs> Not just me, most of the band was dressed like yes. a cat. That was something about cat, because we did a a gig for uh, how to say uh, to raise money for um mm -hmm. for a cat rescue place or a feline rescue place so all the money that we made in that gig by tickets uh we sent to the cats because we all in the band love cats and i have a to rescue cats too so the other members of the band as well so we we all being superhero for the cats that's awesome. Yes, it was it was was very cool because people enjoy it. Uh, people wasn't expecting we come out dressy as a cat, but I'm I'm a silly boy. So me and Jacob, the other guitar player, we we say let's dress silly, and the girls uh, accept too. So, but me and Jacob, it probably was full silly when the girls was like a little more cute, a little piece of cat here and there. <laughs> I was totally cat with paint face, uh, face painting, uh, a cat slippers, like a, a tiger food. 
and I even have a baby. How called is the name of those things that I put on my nipples? Pasties. 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 <laughs> I, I play shirtless with pasties on my nipples. They look just like my cats. <laughs> I know when you first sent it, I didn't register that that's what they were. I had to go back. So I'm like, why yeah. is he laughing? It's a good photo. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that was. That, that, that was a joke too, because we have a friend, a Bob, he he says something that about he can make those things with his, I think it's a 3D printer. And I said, well, if I play short labs, you'll make some cats for I put on my nipples and started as a joke and end up as a, as you can see, a badass um, yeah, paisley, paisleys, paisley, pasties. 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 Yeah. It really looks like my cats. I mean, hey, that could be a new gimmick for when you're up there. Different pasties for different venues. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, we, we uh, the the gig was so successful that we, after the gig, we started to look at each other like, we, we should do this more times. Or we'll do more things like that during the year. Play like the different outfits, try to raise money for some yeah. nice things. That'll be yeah, good. That'll work. This is fun. It's fun. While we're still on the subject of Saved by Ruin, do you want to talk a little bit about the song Wicked? Wicked. Mm -hmm. hmm. So the old songs, I don't wrote. I mean, I don't wrote the new ones. I just wrote guitar parts. Yeah. But so I uh, have a couple of ones. I have the set list here somewhere. I think this works so most of the songs they're old they are for the the first album that the girls recorded in 2000 i don't know maybe 10 years ago so it's like a 2014 maybe a little before um and we still play those songs but after me and jacob enjoyed the band we we start uh, uh write new songs we work more on the instrumental part like me and jacob uh angelic the the singer she worked more on the on the lyric parts but at least on the new ones i can say this pretty much um gojira vibes mm -hmm. involved a lot of connection uh with earth energy and how to be better in this way the other ones, I'm sure, have a something like that, but I have a lot to do with uh, how we can say uh, how we say it doesn't in English. Maybe women empowered, yeah, because that was before was just a uh, uh, four girls in the band. So mm -hmm. uh, on the music scene is is rare rare to see like a more than one girl in a band, and in that period, like ten years ago, a band with four girls. And the band that was something new on the music scene and the girls was badass they still badass but in that time it was something new so that yeah. it was important to be like a gold powder so the, the old songs is more about that all right well we're gonna switch gears and talk a little bit about the other band bury my demons bury my demons um Bear my demons. Uh, we most of the band are very um, experienced musicians and experienced uh, tour musicians, um, student musicians. So we are very uh, word in English metic metic uh, meticulous, uh, meticulous on everything in the band. So uh, writing, we take our time to writing the songs and if a specific riff or a specific bridge or even a specific word the way that the word sounds one the singer or it's trying to uh, phonetic wise is trying to sing it and if no sounds good we are like hey try to use a different word try to do this so we are very we work a lot on details on this band uh and i mean we're very proud of what we have we want to release more stuff is just uh, it's more about timing because everything that we want to do we take 
or time to make a badass masterpiece. But so far, everything that we have released is a masterpiece. Uh, have a masterpiece music videos as well. And lyric wise, uh, John, the singer, uh, I was start the process of writing and he bring to the band. And after, um, let's say that he uh, um, bring a song about politics, example. And so he bring his idea of politics and we're like, okay, let's make this a little bigger. Stan just be like a one political side or one point of view. Let's make something bigger. So it's easy for everyone to understand or a song about personal life or stuff like that. He brings the his his song, he write the whole thing. We go and work on the words and work in a way to make it easier to everyone understand what we're trying to say and be a little more poetic wise. So it's been it's been a very very pleasurable and fun time to work with the guys because we we work hard so things look badass. We don't want to do nothing like that. Yeah, let's just What's really paying off is everything I've seen looks good. I've seen some of the videos that have been posted from the shows you guys yeah. have done. And oh it yeah, looks good. Looks intense. Even, um, even the show, we, we we crazy even in gear. We all like it. We need to have the best gear. We need to always work with the best thing on a on a business right now. It just sounds perfect because we want to go bigger. So. If you release everything in a perfect ways, it's easy to, to go faster. I think you guys will get there. And I think it'll be global pretty pretty quickly. Um, with that, how about, I know that they may be older, but Empire and Without You. They're two songs that popped up when I was looking and they stuck out a little bit for me. So do you want to elaborate a little bit yeah. on those? So uh, Without You was the first song. Um, and actually that song have a, uh, to a friend of us or idol of us, that is Christian Machado and a real loser. They are from Lions at the Gate, but both play before um, El Nino and a real play before Two and the Machine Head. So um, John wrote the song and he invited I mean, invite Christian to do um, featuring vocals and a real to making. Uh, guitar parts as well so we kind of already start the, the first release that we have was already with uh, this color this collaboration with idols in front of us and it's a song about you can see it in different a couple of different ways as we say before as i say before we get the lyric and we make it things be not just focus on one thing makes it a bigger stuff so a bigger thing so you can see it in a position of a relationship, um, like a, a, a boyfriend and girlfriend, or job-wise, or mm -hmm. family-wise. The uh, either way, you are better without you, you other person that was toxic on my life, or you uh, job or situation that was bad for my life. So now I'm better without you, and that's. The focus of that song. Everyone can take their own interpretation of those, of that song and those lyrics. To yeah, we we always try to release the songs uh, a little more open interpretation, not just like a, oh, I hear the song and I think about, I don't know, a friend of mine that yeah. was yeah was toxic, and we're like, no, this is a ball, whatever, no. If you think this song uh, uh, talk about your relationship with your toxic friend, perfect. So we touch you in a right way. <laughs> and then the other one is Empire. Empire, Empire. Go to the to the other side as political wise, but not um, how to say polarizing. Not like a oh, it's talk about political but uh, republic um, left or right uh, democrat or republican yeah. no it's a talk about political in general leaders in general and 
that actually is not poli um, polit po po poli uh, political people files. It's us, the people files, because we are the one that give power to them. So even in the music video, we try to make this um, serious uh, lyric become to be a silly music video where you can laugh about it but after you read the lyrics and watch the video be like oh okay i understand what the guys are trying to do but in a fun way to don't be too too heavy because today talk about politics is hard and mm -hmm. everyone's super sensitive about politics and if you say a or b people go crazy especially if you are a musician a uh, public person so we try to make something like it we're not happy with we are happy now or what was happening 20 years and understand it's not because then it's because us and we have the power to change that like that yeah, yeah. all and right I mean, so we're gonna get a little sorry go ahead, go ahead. it's okay I was saying that even uh, the process for the music video was fun because um, we we thought about it. Um, well, is um is a serious theme. We're gonna talk about something very serious, and we want to get people attention. So we thought about making a serious music video or using some uh, real food uh, footage and kind of try to shock people. But after some meetings, we're like, you know what? Uh, it's kind of was like what every single band have done and we don't want to attack no one and don't want to protect no one so how about we do something funny they will get the attention of everyone but we can still explain what we are trying to say with a song but in a fun way so it was when after we have the meeting everyone realized that this could be the best way to pass the message we are like oh you know what so let's go full silly and the music video is full silly we we have a blast we laugh so hard the whole time so it's worth it if you if you do watch and haven't watched yet the music video go there youtube bear my demons empire you you will like the surprises they have during the video and to everyone that's watching and that it will be replaying later as well at the end i'm going to post where you can see all their social medias which uh their platforms so you can actually go directly to there and it'll take you over to watch those videos as well um so if i do remember your youtube one is on there as well yeah so we're good there yeah. all right i'm going to give yeah. it a little bit of a break and let people come in and if you got a yeah. question for gus go ahead and put it in the comment and uh he'll reply and meanwhile, while we're waiting, we're going to go a little off the musical subject and we're going to talk about, have you seen any good horror movies lately? <laughs> horror movies? Oh, yeah. good ones. You know, I'm, I'm not sure if I have a watch good ones. I'm, I'm sure that I'm have, I have been very frustrated with the horror movies that I haven't watched recently because I'm expecting something new and better with all the technology that we have and we can make better videos or better movies but i'm kind of eh, weak <laughs> have a one that i just watched in the theater what was the name that's what i need my wife sometimes my memories suck and she remember the names i what, watched what one you that was great but not everyone liked it what the name all uh, right late night with the devil Late night with the devil. That's that's new. Yeah. Huh. Which one did I was? Oh, I'll just watch it. Goddamn memory. Names. John just asked you a question in the comments. I don't know if you could see them. Uh John. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Ba, 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 ba. I think on my tablet is with delay, probably will show up in a second. And a new, oh, Ronnie, yeah. Any new music that you come with? Like to release right now? I know. 
Well, he's probably, yeah. Go ahead and answer it for him. Uh, we, uh, the Better My Demons, uh, we are planning to release a new song. I don't want to say date, but we are uh, on a post-production of a song that we already play live called To My Sorrow. Is we will surprise people who was in the gigs uh, already know how different the song it is because we have a lot of different elements. But who haven't been uh, when we release the song, you guys will be surprised with all the how we use out our, our tools on that song. So it's cool. And by Save by Room, we have three songs that we play live, but we are planning to record and so we have a uh from the roots we have a star motion and we have a one that i need to remember the name where's the name give me a sec because i have it here on the, my computer because we is a long name oh it's traveling terrain and waves so one band have a three new songs I'm not sure when we're going to release, but Bear My Demons have a new one that we're going to release soon because it's already in proper post production. That's good. Now, on John's question, how do you pronounce that last word? What well, last word? The one that John wrote. He's like, I guess, who is your favorite? And it's P U T I T O. <laughs> Uh, John's my, my favorite, Putito. <laughs> yeah, me, me and Joe make jokes all the time with we speak Spanish when the band are doing things. But, and I call him Putito all the time. Yeah, John, you, you are my favorite Putito. <laughs> open for a couple minutes see if anyone has anything they want to ask and yeah. uh, we'll just yes for a little bit while they're giving some time because i know there might be like a couple second delay versus how we're talking and then them streaming it so we'll yeah, give them yeah, a minute yeah, yeah. or two so that'll work but yeah late night with the devil was actually pretty good indra i need your brain <laughs> no baby what's recently which what was the horror move that we watched recently on the theater that would suck? Yeah. <laughs> that I was like, oh man, this suck. I don't know. It was the last horror move that we watched on the theater. On the theaters. What is talk to me? Yeah. Oh, but that wasn't a theater? That wasn't a theater. Oh. What was the theater? Talk to me was fun. Because it was a different conception. That was a good yeah. one. Yeah, I like that one. And I like the I like the way that that move ends. I not say nothing, but I like moves that ends in that way. <laughs> no, it was definitely it wasn't what I expected. Exactly. I mean, I I I was uh, Andrew last because I I watched the movie and I started saying like that's gonna happen this happened, and actually what happened in the end was like I knew it but still was good still was surprise. Oh, I remember another day we watched. Uh, it was another day. It was last year we watched the Barbarian. The whole idea of the movie is good, but the very end may make me good. upset. I was like, ah oh, man, no, don't be like that. My niece movie. doesn't like Justin Long because of that movie now. Hey, I don't. She I said don't, he I played that part niece. too easy and too, could, too good. Yeah, could could it be a little more visceral, but it's okay. <laughs> As for new ones, I don't know. Like the late night one was the one that um I actually liked. A lot of people don't. And that's to each their own. It was the concept behind it. And I think people don't fully get the concept of it. It's meant to be watched. Like if you're watching a show in the seventies, the way they shot it and everything. Okay. Uh, so that's what made it interesting. But outside of that, I haven't seen anything that's like really 
really interesting to watch for right now. <sighs> I'm watching a lot of things on the stream, but I, I watch a lot of horror movies. I get frustrated most of the time. So I, I go watch a lot of things that Andrew want to watch, some drama stuff or uh, new shows. Because she, she, she always comes with good shows. Yeah, I do two extremes. It's either rom-coms or like the goriest horror movies ever. Those are my... I mean, or nerdy I, I, I like when it's gory, but it can be just gory with not a storyline. It's, it's, it's just like a... I, I always use the expression um, Marvel move because it can be just a Marvel move. It's a bunch of effects and explosion and blood, but in the very end, you don't. In the very end, you don't say nothing. So I was like, nah. Have, have a move that is. I don't know how old is that move, but I watch it. I show Andrea. She got. She kind of freaked out a little. I remember I watched with father, a friend of mine. She freaked out a little too. How the case of De Debra or Debra Logan. Oh, that was actually good. The taking of Deborah Logan. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh, yeah, the taking. It's not the case. You're right. Yeah. Ooh. The whole movie, yeah. like, yeah, something's very wrong here. And, uh, things just get better. See? No, that was actually good. Yeah, that was a good writing. They, they wrote very well the move. Yeah. Good direction. Boom. They did really good about that. Yeah. All right. And they got so a, uh, gave them a, few a concept that everyone does there's like the footage and now oh, let's do a documentary about this this creepy thing and they make better so yeah yeah the found footage films i'm not a fan of anymore i think they played them out um but i'm always down for a good possession movie always down for that <laughs> if it's good possession yes it's a good endure. yeah um but looks like the questions are kind of wrapped up. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot on over to what shows do you guys have coming up for sorry, Girls fans? Sorry, say again, because cut it. Like live shows where you'll be performing? The the show, the uh, oh, upcoming shows? Uh, live shows for both fans coming up. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a point. So um we from bury my demons uh, we all uh, work for other bands and i mean at least three of members me mike and roger so mike just got back he was in south america with exodus and sometimes he traveled with uh hate breed uh and roger just got back from the tour with uh a burn a burning body and we're gonna we have uh, some proposals of mm -hmm. tour concerts and we are gonna have a meeting this weekend so we say like okay we can make this one this one this one let's go and start uh, uh, uh pr promoting these gigs so we i have uh, some names i have uh, some dates but we can't release it yet because we need to be sure that we uh have a we all we're gonna make those those gigs because we have people calling us uh they want our names on the bill they want to uh, play with us uh, want a tour but uh, we are we just want to be sure that we can make that and now that the guys got back from tour we all can sit down and and be sure if you're gonna make those dates so i can't say those dates yet cut them and save and save by ruin we make those that's the, okay the and then we, um what's we have a date yep. we have a date but we're not we're not it's not 100 percent yet the same thing we are we are planning because on other band on the save by ruins me and jacob they work with other bands so every time the gigs or tour or anything show up they need to figure out my schedule jacob's schedule and see if we can we can we can make it
Did you read the comments yet? Which one? Boggin <laughs> Racer says you're so exotic and the best. I am. I, I, I am exotic. Hey, that sells. Hey, St Steve is exotic too. His car is exotic as well. I did, I did show up in his races one of these days. All right, nice so. Race. Sorry. <laughs> you just show up to one of his races? No, a race. Yeah, he'd have like a no, monster didn't car catch race. race. All right. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So before I show all the platforms, is there anything you want to add in closing? Hmm. Any plug it oh. away? Any shout outs? Any random shenanigans? <laughs> well, I do some shout outs for for endorsements, uh, especially uh, Full Music Audio. There's my pedal endorsements that are saying stuff for me and our badass stuff and I, and I make some videos as well actually i need to post new videos of the stuff and at tsunami cables the other of those endorsements that i have those shoes the ones that are make me very busy right now so a big shout out for those guys um about the bands is well we're gonna put the social medias there but so the people there just check it out our stuff we have a we have a new music coming music videos coming as well but everything on the right timing but it's coming so you need to be on our social media to see that come in on the right time if no when you're gonna figure out oh let me see the new stuff is already six months ago. so uh you need to check it out our social media and my solo stuff too i, I have stuff to release but because i'm busy with bury my demons and save my room i kind of got my solid stuff put on the side and focus on the two bands today yeah go faster but if i make my solid stuff go faster too i help both bands as well so i just need to put everything on the schedule and move Shared love, you homie. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I was reading the comments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading it. Yeah. But all right. For everyone else, uh, thank you for watching. It'll be replaying again uh, throughout the week. And then next week, well, this weekend, I'll have an announcement for another live that'll be coming up next Wednesday. Um, I'll have the guest and the flyer about it over the weekend set up for you guys. I'm actually excited. It's a little local. And uh, as much as I love Gus and interviewing other people, I'm actually thrilled to have someone that's literally like in the backyard. I'm, I'm thrilled to have it on there. It's a little home, you know, <laughs> but um, we'll announce that um, everyone else stay tuned. I'm going to post right now. Actually, I almost forgot. Don't forget. Um, where you can find <laughs> Save by Ruin and Bury My Demons on their different platforms. So we're gonna block out our little faces here so you guys can take a minute and uh, go ahead and look. Well, also I'll have it posted below in the comment section as well when we wrap up here. All those But it shows that you can find them both on yeah. iTunes, Facebook, YouTube, Amazon Music, Pandora, Instagram. Go check them out. Give them a follow. Subscribe, like. There we go. And then for everyone else, thank you. I can't wait to see you guys next week. And Gus, I'm going to sign off, but don't go anywhere, okay? For everyone else, bye. <laughs>